this is a question and answer video i'll be answering some of the questions that have been asked by subscribers first question is asked by mangesh godse he's asking about how to file the tax in australia he's here in australia on the short term basis like for three months so to file the taxes you can do it yourself without help of the agent for that you have to log into this website my.goe.au and there will be one service called as ATO Australian tax office so once you register uh, to that service you can file your tax very easily so all the calculations are automatically done for you since you are here uh, on the short term basis you will have to pay 30 percent tax flat 30 percent tax on your income next question is asked by Vinayak he's asking me if uh, he can claim five points for the partner who has done electronics and telecommunication uh, degree and uh, has got uh, 3.5 years of experience so i think yes you can uh, claim five points because uh, degree is in entc which is uh, very close to information technology and also uh, your partner has got enough experience that is required for claiming the points but apart from that uh, make sure that your partner gets a uh, six score in eyelids in all the sections next question is asked by prashant uh, he's asking me about uh, mechanical maintenance and technician occupation so he's working right now in kuwait so he's asking me how you can apply for the visa so he can apply for the pr visa because this mechanical trades are uh, very much in demand in australia and also he's asking about the total cost for the pr visa so i will say that without agent you will have to shell out around five thousand australian dollars if you have a family so five thousand australian dollars means it comes around two lakhs to 2.5 lakhs in indian currency and if you are going through the agent migration agent then the cost might shoot up to 10,000 Australian dollars for the family the next question is asked by Vinajul he's asking me if skill assessment is required uh, for the application for the 482 visa for the software occupation software engineer occupation so skill assessment is required only for the tradies under this 482 visa for other occupations that skill assessment is not required next question is asked by Siddhant he's asking me if he can uh, do the MS in uh, just 1.5 years like one and a half years so I will say that you go for two years course because with two years course you will get more points as per the points table and then you can easily get the PR visa after your education next question is asked by Parvinder he's asking me he wants to do MS in uh, Pharma in Australia and after completion of that MS in uh, Pharma does he need to give this exam KAPS exam knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences so this exam has to be given by the people who haven't done any education in Australia so since you are planning to do MS in Pharma here in Australia then I don't think that you need to give this exam but even if you have to give it it will be very simple exam so you, sh you will be able to clear easily clear this exam since uh, you are doing MS in Pharma over here next question is asked by Rahul and Rem both questions are quite similar they're asking me about the jobs in banking and finance sector in Australia so I will say that there are enough opportunity job opportunities in this sector so you can easily get a job over here you can uh, search for the jobs on seek.com.au next question is asked by Rajesh uh, he's asking me if you can change the course uh, from BBA in HR to trade course if you got the 500 visa that is student visa then you will have to again apply for the 500 visa that is student visa if you want to change the course because you are trying to change the course from higher level of uh, qualification to the lower level of qualification so you will have to apply for the visa once again the next question is asked by Mithali she is asking me how to apply for the PR visa so I have already created one video on my channel uh, which explains in, explains in detail how you can apply for the PR visa I will leave the link of that video in the description of uh, this video so you can check it out next question is asked by Don Thomas from United Kingdom he's asking me if uh, he has to complete this modified or a full skill assessment for the nursing and what are the next steps of the skill assessment so first question is about that modify or the full skill assessment so if you go to their website this NMAC is the assessment authority for the nursing occupation so there are three types of uh, skill assessment modified modified plus and full skill assessment so they have clearly given the criteria for each uh, type of assessment so here you can see that uh, modified skill assessment is applicable when uh, you are currently registered with the nursing and midwifery board of australia nursing council of new zealand or the midwifery council of new zealand you qualify for a modified skill assessment so you will have to first of all register with this nmba board then you will be mm, uh, eligible for this modified skills assessment 
this full skills assessment is available only for the nurses who are registered nurses and uh, who have done the bachelor of nursing from canada hong kong ireland uk i think you haven't studied in uk that's why this full skill assessment doesn't apply to you this modified skill assessment will apply to you for the you have to register with this nmba board and after registration you have to get the skill assessment done through the nmac so as i said before skill assessment you need to register with the nmba and then uh, you have to do the skill assessment after skill assessment you need to apply for the skill select program and then if you have got enough points you will get the invitation to apply for the pr visa like 189 190 or 489 next question is asked by vipul he is asking me he wants to do ms in uh, information technology in australia so what are the courses and universities so i have already created one video regarding the university there are around 40 universities so you can choose any of that depending upon your point score or depending upon uh, how much fee you can afford and uh, regarding the course any it related course is enough uh, to get the pr visa after your education you can also check it, uh, check this uh, video i will leave this link in the description of this video so if anyone has got any more questions let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video